I would like to know I'm in relationship with a girl and she's a believer from another church. I like her because of her good character, godly and simple words, different from the other girls. Really, I like only for that and we are praying together for God's will. Is it wrong that I myself choose her or how to know she's the one God chose for me? Since now we both already like each other, praying together, please advise. Yeah, I, you know, you'll meet many people here in CFC Bangalore, for example, who married husbands or wives that were not from CFC Bangalore, and it's great. There's no, you know, the verse that says you must only marry CFC Bangalore girls. You know where that is? Where is it? Hebrews 14. <laughs> Hebrews 14. You read it sometime. There's no Hebrews 14, by the way. So that's why I say that. So the point is that she's a godly brother, godly sister. However, I will say one thing about this. I encourage this to the young people in our church. There is something that people who who come to our churches have, and that is a sense of value for the church as the body of Christ. And I find that very few other young people who are not part of a local church have that. So if you get married, if you are committed to the local church, let's say you're part of a CFC church, and you're committed to that church, and you see the, the body of Christ and the preciousness of it, and you are interested in a girl who goes to some large non-denominational church where they don't teach on the local expression of the body of Christ, you will have a hard time convincing her of it. If she sees it, that's great. If she, if she comes here and if she wants to get married to you, make sure that you bring them to CFC, not the other way around. Because you've seen the value of the local expression of the body of Christ. Or that you get married and you move to some town where there is a local church, not this just large, mega, you know, non-denominational congregations. I hope you have seen the local church clearly and that the person you marry also sees it clearly. Otherwise, you could be in for a miserable marriage because you'll be tugging in two directions. So that's the reason that it's better if you can find somebody who has the spirit of CFC, whether they attend this church or not. Not just in the life, but also in the, the new wine skin. See, there's the new wine and the new wine skin. New wine is the life of Christ in us. There are many godly people in other churches who have the new wine, but not as many have the new wine skin. And Jesus was very clear in that parable, if you have the new wine in old wineskins, it'll burst. And your marriage may experience a bursting of some kind. If you, if you and this girl, this boy that you marry have the new wine, but she's still or he's still stuck in the new old wineskin. And here in CFC, we preach and teach, teach and live out the new wine in new wineskins. That means the life of Christ in us in a local expression of the body of Christ.